Oh, Natasha came in town early. Oh. Uh, Girl, I don't even get, I ain't get none last night, so oh. can't do nothing before Wait, the game. Have, I'm really curious. How does that work? <laughs> Is it like a... Say it, we grown. Uh, 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 Is it like a strap it? on or... Yes. Oh. <laughs> Hello. The dragon wanted to say hi. She's getting really big. Let me put her in the thing, because vanity's uh, like being thirsty. Get... What's happening? Nothing much, you know. Same thing here, busy. Uh, new clients, things like that. Levon and I, we actually met on a dating show. We just hit it off right away. He is such a good guy. But Levon lives in Atlanta. And since we met, we spent the first seven weeks there together, but now he travels to California often. A long distance relationship is already like challenging. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, you and I, we gotta talk about the details of, you know, wedding day, you know, things like that. It gives me anxiety. The, the timeline just keeps coming quick, and then the the world, like, when are you guys gonna get married? When is it gonna happen? Like, it's so much pressure, not only privately, but also publicly for the both of us. It just gives me such anxiety because with my first marriage, I got married on the 4th of July. By August, I was divorced. Yeah, no, no you're right, it's a lot. We've both been in long relationships before. It's normal to be a little fearful. Listen, I'm already a divorcee on paper. Like, that really took me for a loop. Maybe maybe I just come out there, talk about how we feel on both sides, and try to get to the bottom of it. We definitely need to talk for sure. Is Keon here? Yes. I know that you and Keon, we did the premarital counseling with me and LaVon. Yes. I think he's an amazing guy. He is. Keon thought he was an amazing guy. but. Friend. What? I'm struggling. Really? I really am. Like, I have so much anxiety. So much anxiety. I know this is. Is it, is it anxiety of getting married or are you questioning how you feel? Everything. It's so many different things. And I don't know if it's also in connection to, you know, getting married before being a newlywed and a divorcee at the right, same time. Right, right. Then now I'm digging some up that's been like in the ground. Yeah. And now I'm like, whoa, 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 but girl. No, that's hard. Because if you just rush into it and then get here after like, did I make a mistake? Yeah. As opposed to just <clears throat> taking it slow and figuring out. Since talking to Lavana on FaceTime, I haven't been able to shake this feeling that just something is not right. I love Lavon, but I feel like right now, when it comes to marriage, maybe there's something there that I need to work through. Because I do want to get married one day. I just feel like right now, I just, I'm questioning everything. Thank I love you. you. I love you. I love you. Well, I don't mean to dampen the mood with this. I know that was heavy. Let's let's walk it Listen, out. Listen, this is what we do. This is what, what we do. I gotta meet Jackie and Logan Child. Oh God, because if she has to wait, she's gonna get back in the car. She is. She'll be like, <laughs> forget it. I'm leaving. amazing. Thank you. So, you know, trying to look like I'm on a date. Uh -huh. You know, I'll be looking homeless on those FaceTimes. You, you are on a date. You look good on the FaceTime, so. I haven't seen LaVon in one month, but it is a perfect opportunity for us to sit down and have this conversation that is much needed. How is everything? There's been so much drama really? going on. Yeah, like I kind of told you a little bit, but like it's been a lot everything going good? on. You good? No. Okay. I'm not. Okay. To be fully honest, I feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. You know, although Carl and I, we were engaged, we didn't get close to a wedding. You know, we were like eight months shy from the date and then I called it off. And then with this, we've been close several times and every time I get close to it, it's just, anxiety mm -hmm. and it's not because I'm, I'm questioning who you are do you understand what I'm saying it's something about the idea of me getting married again that really bothers me yeah. I think because of how we met on television mm -hmm. six months later we get engaged mm -hmm. or whatever it was mm -hmm. 
So with my ex, the one I married, mm -hmm. it was sort of the same, mm -hmm. you know? It was like we met because of television and we had this big wedding and it was like, oh my God, everybody is celebrating me to then three weeks later, I'm in the press. Everybody is talking about me and it wasn't positive. I had to take that and it was really difficult. I don't want to cry about this. It's all right, it's cool. It was really difficult. It's all right, it's cool. And then I'm meeting with an attorney. Mm -hmm. So it was like, emotionally, that was I don't know if this is triggering for me, the whole wedding. You know what I'm saying? But now that I'm dealing with this and this is like a real thing, it's like a lot has happened, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about buying a home. Yeah. We're talking about your, your, your child possibly moving here. Like all those things, it's like, it hasn't even been fully a year. Mm -hmm. You know, I just feel like maybe slow down. I don't expect for you to just sit around and wait, but you know. I think getting mad a second time is really scary. And for me, being married so long and it didn't work, I often sometimes feel the pressure of what if it doesn't work again? So um, maybe we just pump the brakes a little bit. LaVon has done everything right. And it's difficult because I just don't want to hurt his feelings. But at the same time, I also want to be real with him and let him know how I'm feeling. How about Man. if we just wanted to be together? For you without and I? the marriage, without the legal paper. Really? <laughs> I'm asking you. You know, it's like, yeah. How do you feel you about can't, this? You can't be that scared. So you got to get over that. But and how yes. about if I err? How about if I don't get over it? Yeah, that's not gonna fly. So right now, it will long term now. Yeah. Let's take it day by day, month by month. We'll keep it slow. And as we feel it, we'll kick it up or not. That's good. <laughs> That's good. I see you on, baby. Don't be shy. I think you're a star. Hey, baby. Let me see you. So, how was your flight? It was good, long. Oh, welcome to LA. This is our spot, honey. It's nice, nice. I am super excited to finally have my baby Natasha here with me in LA. Me and Natasha met a year ago in Las Vegas. She was playing for a USA team, and it was love at first sight. I already knew that Natasha was my soulmate because when we first started talking, it was all about Prince. As a mother, when somebody come in full force for your kid, it's different. Damn, you nice. It is nice. It's really nice. Yeah, it is. I'm excited about you being here. I miss you. I miss you more. I'm happy I'm here. I'm excited about your party. Everybody's excited to meet Natasha, Big Taj. <laughs> when me and Natasha got together, we were together for like four months. And she was just like, have you ever thought about getting married? And I'm like, girl, yeah. Like, you don't get nothing better than this. <laughs> it's been a little chaos in the group. But I'm afraid it's to get better. <laughs> and I don't tell you a lot, because I just feel like you don't need all that on you anyway, so. Anybody with that boy got to go. <laughs> Even though you're not going to be here long, but any little time with you matters, so I'm just happy you're here. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. It's hard, but I'm proud of you. Thank you. I'm proud I of you, too. Give me some lips. Mm -hmm. Well, this is what we're living in, L.A. We on the top of the world. Yeah, yeah. This is scary, though. <laughs> really? It's gonna height. Ain't nobody that can get me. Ain't nobody hey, that It's like you guys are walking through the tunnel of the game. Hey! Uh, Ain't nobody that can check me. Ain't nobody that can check me. They say I can't do it twice, I'm about to spin back. I ain't going for no little check, I need a big bag. Everything I'm making a nigga, I'm about to spin that. Huh. Tell fingers, I need ten grand. I ain't even trying to break, but I keep with me. Everything just freaking came together, and I'm super excited. As y'all know, that this is Natasha's first party she ever had. Oh. oh so this was really, party. really important to her to be here with her team. 
and my crew. This is so nice. So the bar is there, the food is there. Okay, party time. <laughs> How's the food? Good. It's amazing. Like Are you having a good party? I do. I am. I am. No, I just want to really want to say thank you. Appreciate y'all for coming. And also, you know, just having my girl back too while I'm not here and stuff. Because I know she's been sad without me and Prince being there for her yeah. and stuff. So I really appreciate that. Really, really yeah. appreciate oh, for sure. it. Amazing. We got her. She, we her. She's awesome. Yeah, she's been just like no drama. Just a, yeah. just a good she don't like drama. I don't like drama either. So. No, you don't she's like been drama. great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't like drama. No. I'm like, all right, see you later. Thanks, see you. <laughs> I am in a really good place in my life. I feel so fulfilled and I am just happy. Zen Jen is in full effect. Ooh, handcuffs? And yeah, they're pink, how cute. I'm in a new relationship. I have never felt this way. Hi, babe. I am on my way home. I have a few surprises. It's just different when you are with somebody that you don't get tired of being around. We're gonna have a good time tonight. That's the only clue I'm gonna give you. I'm just in a place in my life where nothing is really gonna affect me and get me all riled up. It's like, it's just it's falling off of me. I'm, I'm, I'm too fulfilled. Can't wait, see you soon. Love you, bye. Christian gets to meet the ladies. I'm just hoping that everybody is on their best behavior, but this is my person, so I want him to meet everyone. You know I do. <laughs> then I can get closer to Christian and find out what's going on. Uh, oh, 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 it's not, it's oh, not an Lord. interview. Okay, Wait, okay, she drink? gave me my cue. It's not an interview. <laughs> okay. Jackie, what is in your brain? This energy, I'm enjoying it. Okay, so how'd y'all meet? Yeah, Christian. How'd you guys how meet? Did oh, that uh, jump that jump originally. Uh, look, look. We were living in the same building. Um, I got off the elevator, so I walk, I see Jen, and it was just like this energy exchange. So LaVon went back to Atlanta, and as much as I need space, I can't help but to be sad. I'm around a bunch of love, and I just feel the sadness about it. I ended up reaching out to her the following day, and we've been inseparable since. Aww. Yeah. This is so this is amazing. amazing. I'm happy. And I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want it. I wasn't seeking it, but. Right, because they say when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. Yeah, yes, honey. Well, that's coming that. soon. A whole sexy ass, bougie ass cougar. And you have kids, right? You have two kids, she yes. said. Cool. Yes, I have an almost two year old and an almost one year old. Nice. Wow. Girls, oh, wow. So they, so they little. 12 months apart. So you got them out the way. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I mean, maybe good. if, you know, God willing. I mean. Oh, my God. We had this conversation. Oh, we like okay, he said he has a kid almost one and almost two. And then he's talking about marrying Jennifer. It's already not making sense to me. The math really ain't math in here. So Jen said you're in finance. Yes, yeah, so I do portfolio management. Oh, that's I invest amazing. for people. I went to school for fashion. Like I never saw myself doing like investing, you know what I mean? So Jennifer has been through a lot of ups and downs in relationships. She done had somebody steal her car. She was messing around with Timmy Thick Thighs, who ended up in jail. Like she's had some interesting guys in her past. So hopefully, you know, this works out with Christian. But it's cool though. I'm, I'm able to spoil her. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs>